Would you like to get clients outside freelance platforms and social platforms? Then this episode is for you. Hey everyone, it's me, Coach Z. I help aspiring and newbie virtual assistants identify their key services and soulmate clients so they can start and grow their VA business. And in this channel, I share upward tips, social media hacks, virtual assistant tutorials, content management related topics, and everything remote work. If this all sounds so good to you, please hit that subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I drop an episode. And in this episode, you will learn what a lead magnet is, what a landing page is, and why both of them are important in growing your client list. If you're excited to dig in, please smash that like button and let's get started. Okay, so in this episode, you will actually learn two things, how to create a lead magnet and how to create a landing page for your lead magnet. So this will be an in-depth tutorial. This will be the first in-depth tutorial that I will be making here in my channel. So I hope you really find value in this episode. So anyway, let's just start. All right. So you may be asking, what is a landing page, Coach Z? Mr. Google says that it lets you make a trade, some sort of a special offer, a piece of information, or a deal in return for providing contact information. Now, I would explain it this way. A landing page is where your lead magnet sits. This is where you share your freebie in exchange for your potential client's email address. Same with my free VA roadmap a downloadable PDF where I include the basic steps to start your VA journey that will only be made available to you if you, if you signed up using your email address. Your freebie or special offer can also be a free audit, free consultation, or a free 30-minute strategy call and not necessarily a digital download. Now, why this works? Having a list of potential clients makes it easier for you to sell your services. Email is an intimate and private platform for your VA business. Here, you will be able to develop trust and relationships with your ideal clients, making them more willing to book your services. How? Through email marketing. But that's a different training for you. All right. Point is, you'll have a list of warm leads, okay? Potential clients waiting to be convinced that they need you. So let's stick first with what your lead magnet should be and how to create a landing page for your lead magnet using MailChimp. So this will, all the tools that we will be using today are free tools. So don't worry. Are you ready? This is going to be a longer video than any of my previous ones. So feel free to jump to each section through the timestamps in the description. Let's get it on. All right, step one is to prepare your lead magnet or freebie. If let's say you are a social media VA and you're targeting startups, then think of something you can give for free in exchange for their email address. Okay, think, think what you can give for free. It could be a downloadable social media startup guide. It could be a free audit of two of their social accounts and anything else you can think of. Once you've pulled it off, then take time to plan out and create your freebie. Let's say for the downloadable. Make an outline of what's included. Make a bullet form of the tips or key points they need to know. But best to share actionable steps where they can actually get results from your freebie. So um, it could be a three-step guide on how to grow their followers from zero to 500 in X days. Or it could be a launch plan for Instagram or Facebook. After you laid out the outline, fill it in with your content. 
The important thing is to make it simple, easy to follow, and result-oriented. Once content is ready, you can then create and design your guide using Canva, which is also free to use. Now, to create your lead magnet, to design your lead magnet, you just have to make use of Canva. And then when I do the lead magnet or create my lead magnet, I just usually choose the Pinterest template. And I'm already good to go. So this is my sample lead magnet. So you can just design it here any way, any way you want. And then add more pages for your entire content in here. Then once all that, all of that is done, you can then download it as a PDF file, as a PDF print, download that and add or upload that into your Google Drive so that you can copy the link from the Google Drive and add to your landing page in MailChimp, which I will be explaining later in this video. So it's pretty simple. Just make it all simple. Make use of Canva to create your, to design your lead magnet and you're good to go. Keep in mind that your lead magnet offer or freebie should be basic, but crazy helpful. Step two, prepare the content of your landing page. Write a draft of the content you'd like to put on your landing page. Okay, this is different from the content of your lead magnet. This is the content for your landing page to convince your potential clients to grab your freebie, all right? The more simple and easy to digest, the better. To do this, you can follow a simple template. Have a clear and snappy headline. What's in it for them? The title of your guide would be enough, actually. Body to explain what they'll get from your freebie and a call to action to grab the copy or offer. Now, let me give you a quick example of what I mean. For your title or your headline, it could be three-step guide to grow from zero to 500 followers on Instagram in 15 days. The more specific, the better. This could be a sample buddy. Trying to figure out how to grow your Instagram account is giving you headaches. You post every day and yet your audience is not growing. Worse, you're not getting engagement. The world, the world needs to hear what you have to say, but no one is there to listen. Frustrating, I know, and I want to help you jumpstart your social presence. In this free guide, I break down my Proven three-step formula to help your Instagram go from ghost town to concert ground. Yay. So your call to action would be grab it while it's hot. <laughs> but I suggest that you add a little note that by sending their email details, they should know that they will be automatically added in to your email list. Okay. So this is a sample um, note that I've made in my own freebie. So this is important because to be very safe and just to be very clear that they should also expect some more emails from you. Okay. All right. Before we proceed with creating the landing page, please let me know if you're getting value from this. And if you do, please drop the word gold in the comments below. And should you need Close mentorship in your VA journey so someone can help you come up with an awesome lead magnet and have a clear strategy to get more clients. My one-on-one -on -one coaching program is still open for November applications. Link is in the description. Now off to step three. Okay, so creating a MailChimp account is pretty simple, just like in any platform that you are signing up. So just click on sign up for free, sign up free, and then add your email address, create a username and your password. And then once you're done, then you will be receiving an email from MailChimp to validate your email address or to activate, rather to activate your MailChimp account. And once you are in the MailChimp homepage, you are 
us to choose which plan. So just choose on the free plan because it allows you to save up to 2,000 contacts and send up to 10,000 emails, which is huge, right? It's, it's awesome, awesome features for a free plan. So once you're inside MailChimp, then that's the time you can create your landing page. All right, so once you've already signed up on MailChimp, then the first thing that you will see is your dashboard. So to create a landing page, you just have to click on this pencil tool and then, of course, choose landing page. And then you just have to, you know, you just have to create a landing page name for your freebie. So it's best to title it the same way as you titled your freebie. So let's say three step guide and then click begin. And then from there, you will be redirected to this page where you can select a template. Now I suggest you select the lead generation template because it's simple and I want everything simple. So just click this one. You will see this template which you can already edit. So this is the importance of creating and planning out your lead magnet content, your landing page content before you even create your landing page. We just have to drop all the content in here and then we're good to go. So you have an option to put a logo, but for this purpose, I won't, I won't add a logo. So just click on the pencil sign in here this is where your title will go or your headline will go so we'll just copy the one that we did just copy that one and then and there there you go and then you will also drop the content in here just click this box or click this pencil and then copy, we'll just copy this one. There you go. So it will be all a very simple process because all is ready, everything is all set. So you just have to save and close. So you can actually like make this more fancy if you want, if you want to change the font type, the font color, go ahead. But I suggest you add an image in between your headline, your title, and your um, content, the body. Okay, so you just have to upload an image. You just save the first page of your lead magnet in Canva as a PNG file. And there you go. You will then see it will appear in here. You can also choose if you want to have it smaller or bigger. I'm not sure which one I'll choose, but let's see. Everything is there. And then this one, this is where I'll drop the note, the PS note. I'll just copy it here and drop it here. Okay, so, okay, there you go. So you can just actually change the position of this one. So for this one, I love to put the note below the subscribe button. So here you can choose, you can also customize this one. You can actually require the first name of your potential client so that you can address your client in his or her first name. And then you can also change the button text. Let's say, give it 
to me now. See, there's some kind of urgency in there. You will then have an option if you want to leave a confirmation message once they click the button, or you can redirect them to another landing page, or you can um, choose a web address. So since I mentioned earlier that you should upload your lead magnet in your Google Drive, this is where you will drop the link to your freebie or lead magnet, which is in your Google Drive. So everything's free. Anyway, and there you go. You also have an option to add more about yourself and some photos if you want. But let's keep it this way. And then you can also add your social accounts in here, your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram link. You just really have to drop all the links in here and you're already good to go. You can also preview your landing page by clicking the preview option. And there you will see how it will look like if it's viewed in desk desktop. So looks pretty nice to me and clean. And then you can also view it via mobile, which is also pretty neat. I love it. So you can now save and close. And then once you save and close, you will be redirected to this page. So in here, you have the option to change the page title. You can also change the URL link, you know, the, you, um, you can still change this three-step guide if you want. And then, of course, all your audience will be added to your, to your list. And for me, of course, I'm using my MailChimp account. So it all, be at, all will be added to Confessions of a Virtual Assistant. And then you can also still edit the design if you want. But if you think all is good, then you can just Publish this one. So let's try. And it's a home run. So your landing page is now live. You can click the link to see how it looks like, if it looks good. So see, okay, there you go. All right, so you're good to go. Now you might be asking, where will I put this landing page link, Coach Z? You can add your landing page or your lead magnet or your freebie link on your socials, okay? On your social platforms, you can add it to your Instagram bio, Facebook bio, website if you have one, to your LinkedIn account. So you can create a content promoting your lead magnet so that your potential clients who are lurking around your social platforms can grab your three-step guide or your lead magnet or your freebie. And you can, at the same time, you can grow your email list and you can nurture them later on. And the nurturing part is actually the email marketing, which is a different training for you. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope some of you will do this one because Lead Magnet is very powerful. It's really helpful when it comes to booking more clients. So if you want, if you want to grow your email list and you want to start building relationships with your potential clients, then creating a lead magnet and a landing page for your lead magnet will be very helpful to your VA business.